Welcome everybody. Today I'd like to start a new series on theming with WordPress. And um, I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a brand new theme based off of either a bootstrap or foundation. And what little is actually involved to do this. So what you will need is to download either bootstrap or foundation have access to your uh, FTP or your WordPress installation and in my case I've got some themes already installed so you've got a uh, Zurb Foundation and Bootstrap 3 as well as Reverie which is uh, based on Foundation 4 so if you're looking for a uh, foundation based framework for WordPress you could check out Theme Fortress's uh, Reverie and um, some other uh, WordPress themes that were pre-installed with the system. I like to keep them around for reference. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see right here I've already got a theme started. It's very basic. This is actually based off of Bootstrap. So let's go into the themes. Here's Bootstrap. Let's check out the editor. So what you need in order to get a theme started is two simple files. Style.css for the CSS style sheet and of course your index template. So we'll get started with Bootstrap. So here is the header information and the footer information. This will grab the WordPress header and footer and as well as the sidebar, the content, and the title. And you can see these div tags here. That wraps around based on the framework grid system. So um, and then right here is pulling in the uh, CSS where I have it uh, located on my server. And the end result is quite simply this right here. So I've got my sidebar on the left. Let's go back a page. And you can see the sidebar is right there. Now if I go in and I make some changes, for instance, let's do a quick and easy change. update this file, visit the site, you'll notice that the sidebar will have moved to the opposite side. Now just as easily I can go in here and grab my foundation theme which I just started, activate that, I'm going to go into the editor and show you that the uh, the Zurb or the Zurb's foundation theme is almost the same. I've got the uh, theme name, the URL of where I'm going to have information from this on my website, uh, description, version number, and uh, the license information. And if you go into the index, if you remember back, it is almost identical to the bootstrap version. I've got the header, I've got the footer, I've got the sidebar, I've got my div tag but this is based off of the foundation framework so you got your small and your large. It's a little bit easier to read, does require a little bit of typing but essentially the HTML or the uh, the template is identical. So if I go back over to bootstrap, select that, look at my index, you'll see they're almost entirely identical. Both of them are pulling in their res respective style sheets. That one was Bootstrap, and this one is Foundation. Now a moment ago I changed back to the Foundation framework, so let's see how this looks. Oopsie. See? It's quick and easy. It's pretty amazing that you can hot swap between Bootstrap and uh, and Foundation. So um, the advantage to creating your own theme from scratch, albeit this is extremely basic, I've got um, only one post showing up by default. So if I go into Customize, right now I have a um, my static front page is my latest post. I don't have it programmed quite right, so it's only showing the most recent post. Let's select a uh, front page. 
my about page. How about my own, um, there we go. And this will go into the, uh, the page that I'll eventually be posting this information on. Close this back up. Okay. Go back to the themes, check out the editor, and to recap, all you need to create your own theme is uh, this theme information, which WordPress will use for various pages on within WordPress. In this case, um, a lot of this information will actually show up on the themes page. And that's the style.css, so that'll tell you the version number, your description, a link to the author's home page. And um, an index page. That's all you need for a bare bones WordPress installation. Now I can go in here and rip out this sidebar. That's the default sidebar that gets set up by WordPress. Now you can go in and create your own functions.php, which I'll do later in a later video, and edit this on the fly. The content of the page and the title. Take any of this stuff out and that respective item will completely disappear. That's all you need to create your own um, your own theme from scratch. Now, of course, you're going to want to build on this, but the advantage of creating your own theme from scratch, of course, is that if a developer stops supporting a theme that you've been using, you don't have to um, worry about that because you're developing it yourself. So the only thing you have to do is rely on yourself to continue development, which is great because if you're doing this for a client and they want to make some changes, they could do that as well. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and in the next video, I'll show you guys one major thing that I'm missing on these, uh, these new themes, and that is a menu. <laughs> There's absolutely no way to really get around here unless you're going through the, uh, the sidebar, but what we will want is a top nav. So that will be coming in the next video, and I'll show you how to do that in both Bootstrap and Foundation. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.